you know, the yes. day after giving thanks and being grateful to an awesome God. I see you, Sister Shannon. God bless you. Everybody is on board, reared, and ready to go. Our elder is here, and he's given me the awesome responsibility of facilitating the day. He is at the center. He is on the line, but because sometimes there is problems with connection, he's just on standby. How about that? Amen. So y'all got to put up with me today. Amen. The day after is what we're calling it. And we have an awesome prayer warrior that ain't scared to go ahead on and pray. And we're going to ask her to do that. None other but Sherry Gillis from Local 31 General Motors. Amen, brothers and sisters. Greetings in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, we enter into your presence with an offering of praise and thanksgiving, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. First and foremost, we thank you, God, for being God and God all by yourself. We thank you for your son, Jesus, and his shed blood, the very word that became flesh and made his dwelling among us. Thank you for pouring out your Holy Spirit to rest, rule, and abide in us all by yourself. We thank you for establishing the UAW Constitution and the UAW International Leadership, President Blake Curry and Vice President Chuck Browning and their entire administration all by yourself. We thank you for encouraging our international reps, Brother Bill Eady, Brother Jerry Carson, Chairman Herb Taylor, and Sister Connie Bobbitt as they teach and train us to pray and lift up our membership, our communities, our church, and yes, our families all by yourself. We thank you for preparing our minister on today, Pastor Tamika Shannon, with the rhema word that penetrates our soul and edifies our spirit. Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God all by yourself. We thank you today for the hosting of Sister Helene, Pastor Helene Walker. She is doing a marvelous job in your sight, and we thank you, God, for her leadership. We thank you for being a way-making God, life-giving God, promise-keeping God, and a prayer-answering God all yeah. by yourself. Yeah. Father, we thank you for giving us thank this unspeakable Lord. joy, this incomprehensible peace, this radical love, this unrelenting mercy, and yes, God, this unmerited grace, all by yourself. You see, chaplains, our thanks has no end. Because if we had 10,000 tongues, we could not thank him enough. Just to say his name, Jesus, is praised all by himself. It is the name that is above every name, the only name by which we could be saved. There is salvation in the name Jesus. There yes. is deliverance in the name Jesus. There yes. is healing in the name Jesus. And bless God Almighty, there is freedom in the name Jesus. For whom the Son sets free is free indeed. UAW, be healed, be delivered, and be set free. Solidarity forever is my prayer. Amen. 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 Uplifting. Amen. We have our very own Cynthia Harris. Amen. 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 41, Section 2. Good morning, good afternoon to others. Uh, Article 41, Section 2 says, It shall be the duty of each member to render aid and assistance to brother or sister members in cases of illness, death, or distress, <laughs> and in every way acquit her himself as a loyal and devoted member of the International Union. God bless you. Amen. We're so glad that all of you Amen. coming on for the day after. My, I only ask that you keep your phones and your WebEx on mute if you're not speaking. Be conscious and respectful of the program. We love you. We're glad you're here. And if you're speaking, don't get long-winded. Amen. Like we can we can hear everybody every, all the time, and and we only can give you a little bit, okay? And praise God. 
So now none other will have greetings by uh, word and words of encouragement from our international chaplaincy officers that will be beginning with Bill Eady, Assistant Director of Chaplaincy, followed by Jerry Carson, Chaplain Coordinator, and then none other but Elder Herd Taylor, our Chaplain Chair. Bill Eady, do we have you on the line? And if he's not on the line, whenever he comes on the line, we're going to pause and give him a chance. Thank you, Helena. I want to bring you greetings from President Ray Curry and Vice President Director Chuck Brownie and the entire International Executive Board. We want to thank you, chaplains, for all you do in your place of work, in our union, in the community, and with and for your families, being the salt and the light, meeting people where they are, loving on them, and giving them hope sharing the good news true and living God. I'm going to be brief. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about this program, but I'm going to give a, a quick report. Uh, on Wednesday, the 23rd gave the gave this same report about the ballots being mailed to the monitor and and, and it hasn't been updated since Monday, the 21st. Uh, it, but the numbers are the same. Region one has, has submitted 14,651 ballots. Region 1A, 12,531 ballots. Region 1D, 12,686 ballots. Region 2B, 20,484 ballots. Region 4, 14,694 ballots. Region 6, 2,251 ballots. Region 8, 13,460 ballots. Region 9, 6,533 ballots. Region 9A has submitted 3,985 ballots, and that brings that total to 101,275 ballots have been received as of Monday, November 21st at 5 p.m. at the receiving post office. And what's important with this is everyone should have mailed their ballots by last week, Friday the 18th. So they're in the process of going through the, the, the U.S. Postal Service. So they have until this coming Monday. They have to have received them by the 28th at 4 p.m. on Monday. And then on Tuesday, the 29th, anyone that's interested in looking at the process for, for, for the counting the ballots, it's on UAW.org on the monitor site. And it's pretty extensive. It's 17 pages. I've went through it in uh, the very, they're gonna do it in two eight hour shifts. The first shift they'll start on Tuesday the 29th at 9 a.m. and then the next shift will follow but uh and they're gonna it's gonna be held uh in a building by in Dayton Ohio in that area so it's coming and uh to God be the glory I I know that 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 the leadership have served well and served under some conditions that we have never seen in our lifetimes. I don't think they've been any tougher than back whenever we organized originally in the 30s. Uh, so 87 years ago. And they have led with integrity. They have done well. They have served. So I'm just hoping that everybody gets their ballots in. And... Uh, and then we've got a lot of work to do. The civil rights movement, the labor movement, and kingdom building has always been a struggle, always going to be a struggle. But the most important thing, faith without works is dead. We just got to be the hands and the feet, and we got to have conversations uh, one person at a time, one meeting at a time, and uh, you know, bring up uh, the good works that have been done. 
all the things that has transpired underneath this leadership good for our membership. Um, every one of us come from the floor. I worked on the floor 28 years, 16 years production worker, 12 years industrial lift truck mechanic, and then I served it, it three terms. It, 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 I was actually in my third term as a chairman. What an honor and a privilege, because the reason why what we've done, I'm talking to chaplains and the leadership, instead of complaining, we have been part of the solution. We rolled up our sleeves together and it's about solidarity. A leader is gonna bring us together, gonna make the hard decisions and gonna explain them to us so that we understand. And, it, it, and it's, it's, it's for us. That's, this is what it's about. It's about us. And, uh, and, and we're just so blessed. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it there. Um, I love you, chaplains. And uh, your work, your hard work and heavy work. I listen to Helene. I listen to each one of you talk about how the things keep on coming at us. And it's like unprecedented. It really is. And, and just think about that leadership, too. And then just just like our our president, Ray Curry, said whenever I was in a meeting at the Region 8 Standing Committee, the final question he was asked, what would you do? What's your what's your goal whenever we come through this election? He said, building our solidarity, bringing the people back together. That's awesome. That's what it's about. That's how we that's how we win. And uh, I don't know, I'm going to. Turn it, turn it back over to, to our uh, elder, Herb Taylor, our international chapsy chairperson, my brother, friend, and <laughs> love you. Okay, love you, uh, Brother Jerry, the day after Thanksgiving. Come on, let's celebrate Brother Carson for the promotion of and the leadership of chaplaincy. Uh, Bill Ely will come on. Before I go, let me just check. Bill, are you with us this morning? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord uh, is with us. Sister Helene has taken us to this point. And Helene, I want you to prepare yourself for uh, doing the roll call after we hear this important message from God. Um, this young lady, um, she's a spiritual uh, advisor for the chaplaincy program at Local 31. Um, she's just a powerful woman in the kingdom. And let's 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 uh, sit back and hear what thus said the Lord. Sister Tamika, could you bless the chaplain? this morning and once she's finished you will hear from sister Helene Walker and prepare yourself for the roll call sister Walker you going to do the pastor Walker you're going to do the roll call after the speaker today so come on Tamika bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within us let's give her a good God bless you as she comes amen hey. It is such a privilege and an honor to be offered the opportunity to speak over such a blessed and anointed, seasoned group of people who have chosen to devote themselves to the things of God. I'm so blessed and privileged to be a part of this. And um, I would like to pray, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come to you with my head bowed and my heart humbled. And I stand before you and I ask and I pray that you use me. I submit myself to your will and your way. Allow your word to flow from my belly as a river of living water, that it may reach the hearts and the minds of those who it needs to give new life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank God and amen. 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 I've been struggling with it the whole week, but the enemy gets no victory. The first thing I want to do is to be thankful for the uh, holiday season and the family, the opportunity to, to, to gather in fellowship with family. You know, we, we have to make time for family. And God blessed us with the opportunity on yesterday. Someone mentioned uh, uh, the day after. 
And when she said the day after it started to, 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 to make me leak on the inside because my mind didn't go to the day after the festivities. My mind went directly to the day after his crucifixion. And I began to think about the sorrow and the sadness that the disciples must have felt in losing their leadership and losing their, their spiritual guide and losing their sense of hope and their sense of, of, of joy and purpose. Because while they were with him, he anointed them. He blessed them. He gave them power to go and be fishers of me. He gave them power over unclean spirits. He gave them power to heal um, all diseases. He gave them power to go and prepare the people for his coming. He gave them power over the, the scorpions and the serpents. He gave them power. And all of a sudden, his presence was removed. All of a sudden, the confusion of what's next was there. All of a sudden, the fear was evident, so much so they chose to take and hide themselves in a room because they were afraid of what would be coming their way. Peter himself, in, while he was in the courtyard denying him three times, what, after Jesus had already told him he would, oh no, I, I won't deny you, I'll die for you. I it even went so far as to cut the soldier's ear off in, in an attempt to show that he was strong and that he was faithful to who he had chosen to submit himself to. And in that moment of denial for that third time, it was evident he wasn't as strong as he thought he was. In that moment, it was evident where he felt like he had failed. But Jesus in his awesome wonder, Jesus in his love and his compassion, he had promised them in John the 14th chapter that he would not leave them comfortless. He told them that he would send them back a comforter to guide them, to strengthen them, to teach them. And the comforter needed to come, but before he allowed the presence of the comforter to manifest himself, he himself came back to show them that he was truth, to show them that he was power, to uh -huh. show uh -huh. them that he was love, to show them that he was commitment, to show them how they must continue the works that he had begun in them. Coming into a room that was locked, manifesting himself in, in not just the deity of God and he being able to walk through locked doors and walk through walls, <laughs> but he said, what you eating? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy, not Timothy, but Thomas and his doubt, not being there, not being present, even in his love and compassion and encouragement to those who he had trained, he came back to show him. Even after he said, I won't believe until I see, I won't believe until I touch. He came back to give him the opportunity to receive because they had a work to do. For so long, we have ourselves been without the tangibility of seeing because the world has tainted what he looks like. The world has tainted what he feels like. Even religion has tainted relationship and impacted rituals, routines, and, and ordinances on us that keep us from understanding the pureness of relationship. He is asking us today, can I use you? Come on. Come on. We have right. you use me, I want to know, can I use you? When I look at Isaiah, the sixth chapter, right around the eighth verse, and God says, who will go for us? And Isaiah says, I'll go, send me. He was sending him on a mission with intention of understanding these people would have deaf ears and blinded eyes, but he was to go and carry the word regardless. And that is what he is calling us to do today. We need to be willing to stand up, go out, share the truth without a a fear, without a doubt, without concerns. But in order for us to do that, we must decrease ourselves. We must yeah. truly allow ourselves to seek him in the spirit of truth. He said, they that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. We can look at yesterday 
and reminisce on the beauty of unity in the family and fellowship and being able to draw everyone in. But did we stop and take the time to be fishers of men? Or were we just happy to be in our element, be with our family? Be? Yeah, we prayed over the meal, that, but we, did we pray over their souls? Did we draw the next generation in? Did we take the time and tell them about the goodness of God? He wants to know, can I use you? I need your hands. Hey. I need your eyes. I need your mouth. But more than any of that, I need your heart. I don't need you to simply move and operate from the frontal part of your mind that, that is reactionary. I need the deeper inner parts of your heart. I need my word to be written upon your heart that it may flow from your belly as a river of living water because out of the abundance of the heart does man speak. And if you are full of my word, then that should be your conversation. That should be your mode of communication. And he wants to know, can I use you? Yes. I allow you to use me when you display uh, your holiness while you're in service and you're singing songs and you're raising and others are looking at you and seeing the intimacy they assume you have with me. But when I tell you to stop and listen, you are afraid that they'll judge you and look at you like you crazy. But I'm trying to use you because I need you to speak a word or I need you to lay a hand or I need you to hug someone. But you're so caught up in your flesh that you've assumed that looks like holiness. Uh -huh. I can't uh -huh. use you in the moment. He wants to know, can I use you? Can we look at the day after? Can we look at the heart of the disciples? Can we be wrapped up in the knowledge of understanding there's an opportunity to do more? There's an opportunity to walk in faith. There's a walk opportunity to walk in trust. He said, trust me with your whole heart and lean not to your own understandings, but in yeah. all of your ways, acknowledge me and I will direct your path. It begins with trust, trust in what is unseen with the hope of the manifestation. He wants to know, can I use you? Ask yourself today, am I available to be used or is it merely words? Ask yourself, have I uh -huh. submitted myself unto him to give me the power and the strength that I need to resist the devil that he may flee? Ask yourself, have I allowed him to use me? I know he allows me to use him, but have I allowed him to use me? All right. My 10 minutes, are up. it was a blessing to have this privilege and this opportunity. I thank you and I look forward to every opportunity given. Be blessed. Amen. Wasn't that awesome? We thank Amen. you. Amen. So can I use you we thank you brother Carson we thank you for all of those votes and keeping up and let us know what's coming in we thank God for the votes and we pray that his blessings on the vote uh be received with good fruits amen we want to pray over those votes we got to pray over all things and everything can I use you I have another question. Didn't he make a way? Did God make a way? Do you believe he made a way? I believe he made a way. So many times the Lord made a way for me. Uh -huh. So many times the Lord made a way for me. He picked me up. And he turned me around. He placed my feet on solid ground. So many times the Lord made a way for me. So many times he sure made a way for me. Yes. Now, when I was lost, and 
I couldn't find my way. He stepped right in and he showed me the way. Oh, I want to thank you for holding me. You've been so good, so good to me. Amen. 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 Glory. Can he use you? My sister said, can he use you? He already made the way. And he's going to put a blessing all over those votes. I feel it in my yes. spirit. Amen. Thank God. <laughs> Amen. I thank her for allowing me to have these few moments with my brothers and sisters. I love y'all. Y'all know that. I'm grateful for the UAW chaplaincy. We have come a long way. I think I heard, heard uh, Jerry say 10 years. I see years on top of years for Sandra, for Connie, for, for uh, uh, I don't know if you've been around a long time, but you sure act like it, Sister Harris. <laughs> Amen. And no <laughs> doubt, her's been a real, we've been, we got some traveling behind us. And and and, and I and the, forgive me if I didn't call your name, but I can just see a few faces up here. And I just feel like thanking God. But now we want to know uh, who else is on the line. So it is time for roll call. Amen. Beginning with region one. Let's hear you on the line. You give us your name, your logo, the company, and whether you're retired or active. And look, say what, what God blessed you, what you're thankful for. I don't need no sentence. I don't need no another song. I don't need no scripture or no sermon. One word, right. what he blessed you with. Amen. 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 So let's continue the flow. We're not going to hesitate. We're going to roll with it and we're going to give power to it so that God will be pleased. Amen. Amen. Geneva Murph, Local 961, retiree, FCA. And I am so thankful and grateful for life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Next. Next, calling Region 1. Region 1A. Uh, Michelle Hill, Local 600, Ford Motor Company, active. And I'm thankful for family. I'm home in New Jersey. Amen, Michelle. Amen. I, I am Helene Walker. I'm Local 600, Ford Motor Company a retiree and loving it. And I'm grateful for God who saved me. Shirley Davenport, local 163 Daimler active, and I'm thankful for salvation. Rosa Floyd, retiree, UAW local 600. I am so thankful for the Lord for saving me. <clears throat> Amen. Uh, region 1D. Region 1D. Region 2B. 2B. Going once, going twice. <laughs> this is Black 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 family. Amen. Black 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 Michelle Buckler, 2209, GM active. Yeah, and I'm go. definitely yeah, grateful for God walking us through this season. Amen. Go ahead, Dolores. Fort Wayne Assembly, active. I'm thankful for the Lord's prayers, both answered and unanswered, because I believe in his plan and his vision for us all. Amen. Doris Roberts. Go ahead, Doris. Doris Roberts, Local 12, St. Louis and Mercy Medical Center, retiree. I'm thankful for my family and friends. I was blessed that my daughter cooked yesterday. <laughs> amen, amen. Region 2B. Cindy Mustang, Fort Wayne Assembly. And I'm 
active, and I, I, I'm thankful for my grandkids. Amen. Amen. Any more? Region 2B. Amen. Going forward, Region 4. Anybody from Region 4? Tamika Shannon. Local. Go Where's ahead, Tamika? Uh, uh, Tamika Shannon, Region, I mean, I'm sorry, Tamika Shannon, uh, Fairfax Assembly, uh, Local 31, um, active. Thankful for being chosen. And I'm sorry, I've got to acknowledge leadership. I know you don't want no, no sentence, but I'm thankful for um, Jerry Carson. I'm thankful for Brother uh, Edie, and I'm also thankful for uh, uh, Elder Herb Taylor and my chairman, Sherry Gillis Clark. I apologize. I want to acknowledge y'all. Be blessed. <laughs> okay. Did I hear Marcy? Marcia Starks, Local 551, Chicago Assembly Plant, Ford Motor Company. I'm thankful for being a chaplain. Amen. Any more of Region 4? David Andrew. Anthony Walker, Local 31 active i'm just very thankful and blessed to be a part of this what i call family on this chaplaincy call once again we all are encouraged and even though sometimes we get on here a little lighthearted, we always get lifted up when we spend this hour together just a true true testament on this day and i just thank you all and to the leadership i thank and love you to all the chaplains on the front lines and in the back lines i just thank you and i love this this chaplaincy call lifts me up every time i'm just it's just a blessing this chaplaincy call is a blessing Amen. Amen. Any more from Region 4? Amen. Amen. Walker, yes. 110 Chrysler. I am an active retiree and I am thankful for God's grace and his mercy shown towards me and my family. Amen. Amen. Moving right along, Region 4. Marshall Watkins, yes, this. Marshall Watkins Jr., Local 2250 General Motors, active. <laughs> I am thankful for Jesus because of Jesus all things consist chaplaincy family anything you want to name exists because jesus exists amen amen next david grimaud local 2096 pontiac illinois caterpillar and i am an active retiree and i am thankful for the hand of the lord upon my entire life god bless you. amen still in region four anymore Sister Sherry Gellers Clark, Local 31, General Motors, Fairfax, Kansas, and I am active. I am so thankful just for the name Jesus. It is the Amen. sweetest name I know. Amen. Amen. Region 4 showing out, y'all. Any more for Region 4? Going forward, Region 8. Region 8. Region 8. Cynthia Harris, Local 218, Bell Helicopter, International Staff, active, and I am thankful for salvation. All right. Any more from Region 8? You holding down Region 8? Uh, this is Paul Nichols, Local 1895, Ford, retired, and I thank God for a godly wife. Mm, that's sweet. Yeah, that's so sweet. <laughs> region 8, anyway, Region 8. Yes, Region 8, Clarice Beckett, Local 276. And I am so grateful for salvation. And I thank God for Jesus. And I thank God for the UAW chaplaincy. Amen. Amen. Region 9. Region 9A. Amen. Thank you guys for reporting. We all got something to be grateful and thankful for. Do we have BOED yet? Amen. Amen. Well, the door is always hey, open for you. Helena. <laughs> Pass. Call, on any, call on anyone that hasn't had a chance to share. Okay. I was just about to do that. Before I give Bill Edie one more time, another time, another time. Anybody that didn't share, anybody that didn't call out their name, we want to know. Sarah Carruthers, uh, <laughs> Region 8, Local 276, retiree, active. I want to tell everybody it's just a blessing to be here. I had a wonderful time with the family. Awesome time on the last call. 
And I'm just so grateful for God for waking me up this morning and to be able to be on this conference call. And I just want to tell you, I love you and ain't nothing you can do about it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Back Amen. at you, girl. Everybody else we left off with a cheery smile like that. Amen. Good morning, Angela King, Local 31 GM, and I am glad for my family. I'm in Indiana, and I'm able to spend with them, and I thank God for bringing me through the season, and I thank God for all you lovely chaplains. I love you, and God bless you. Amen. Amen. Angela, love you, Amen. Angela. Sarah. Okay. Hi, I'm Connie Bobbitt, Local 163 retiree, and I am thankful for God's love and faithfulness. Uh, also, Sheila Stribling is also on the line, but her phone is broke. She's unable to speak. She's a retiree from Local 600. All right, Connie, holding it down. You holding it down. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? Have you know, the, we Bible got... says, the Bible says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. I guess it's called Region 1 and I wasn't ready, so I guess I'm last. So my name is Robert Ghostin Jr., Local 653, General Motors, Milford Proving Grounds. And I am thankful for my family. And let Amen. me explain. Let me ho ho ho. Let me explain my family. Because okay. there is more than one family that I have. I have oh, no man. family, which I'm grateful for. And I spend more time with them than I spend with anybody else. I have my church family, and I'm grateful for them. I have my family that God put me in that family and I'm grateful and thankful for them. And then I have, <clears throat> I had that fourth family that God showed me that is people just like you, every last one of my chaplain family who believe like I believe. That's a different family than your church family. Your church family, you go to church with them, but you may not believe, they may not believe what you believe, but I know my chaplaincy brothers and sisters believe like I believe. And I'm grateful for each and every last one of you. Amen. Love you all. Y'all on fire. Hallelujah. God bless you. And thank you, Jerry Carson, Herb, and Bill for allowing me this time. And now I'm going to give it back to you. Okay. Thank you, uh, Sister Helene. Come on, let's give um, all of our speakers a good God bless you. Yes, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. From the prayer. Thank you. To the word, to the facilitator, to all of the announcement. But now is the greatest part of any meeting, any service. And that is recognizing our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We pin yes. this so spiritually as Helene brought to our attention the day after. Picture with me, if you will, the day after whatever the Spirit is sending you to. Whatever that day after was, that day may have been the day after you got married, or the day after a loved one passed away. My God. The day after. The day after always comes after. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I thank God for what we did today. And I want to, it has such a powerful effect. I want everybody to come off of me. Everybody, I don't care what's behind you, what noise behind you, because you can't make enough noise for the Lord. <laughs> Come on, all on one accord. Let's celebrate God. 
Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise your body. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, you've been so good, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being you. Hallelujah. Thank you. 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 Thank you for this web. Thank you. I heard the story. Yeah, I heard the story. I heard the story. This morning about an individual cleaning her greens in the tub. <laughs> It went on to say in a lot of the restaurants, they are clean in wash machines. But anyway, it is clean. Create in me a clean heart. A clean heart. Come on now. And renew a right spirit. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because there's something about when I was in the spirit, God showed me something and told me something that I needed to know. We need to make sure when it's all said and done, we remove ourselves out of the way. Come on. Sometimes we're a little too quick with our prayers, with our thanks, with our meditation. Yes, yes. Sometimes that five minutes need to be. 10 minutes. My God. Because we got to get a lot of stuff out of the way before we can really approach the throne. Oh, you can go right. Down. You can pray. Mm -hmm. But when you are in the spirit. Oh, Jesus. My God. That's when the goosebumps gets on you. That's when you, you, you find yourself in a position where you can't leave. Oh, my God. You can't leave. And, and, and you may want to know what happened. Mm -hmm. Let me explain to you what has happened. The greater takes over. Greater is he. Hallelujah. That is in you. Hallelujah. Then he that is in the world. Amen. This fleshly uh -huh. vessel ain't nothing good about it. And, mm -hmm. and, and we walk around with it all the time. I'm not in the spirit 100% of the time. Come on, but man. But guess what? Neither are you. Hallelujah. <laughs> 
So when we pause for that moment, oh, thank you. And allow the Spirit of the Lord to dwell inside <laughs> us. You will say what David said. It is too high. I cannot attain it. It's too much for me. I'm overwhelmed by his spirit. Yes, Lord. The message that Pastor Tamika gave us today, I encourage you to go back to the WebEx and hear it. The song that Pastor Walker song today, I encourage you to go back and listen to it. What a mighty God we serve that the day after was the day after Thanksgiving. Yes, Lord. And I heard someone say yesterday morning at four o'clock, he would rather say thanks living than thanks giving. Mm -mm -mm. My God. Thanks living. Thanks living. Man, you ain't living nothing without the Lord. Right. That's why that's why I like what I heard about, yeah, we, we blessed the food. We did this and we did that, but did we make an opportunity? Did we take the opportunity to make an altar call in our own family? Sometimes we move a little too quick. Next year, let's do. Christmas, let's do. Let's don't forsake the fellowship of the Lord. Man, I love you guys. I'm going to check this this time out. So we're going to check and see, Bill Eady, uh, uh, did you make it? Okay. Brother Carson. Thank you, Elder. I know Bill's with us in spirit. I know that. And I can tell you... Uh, we are all cut from the same cloth, and that is Brother Bill. Him and I are just, we all watch over one another. I wish he could have been here, but the blessing is, is that we record this. So he's going to get an opportunity to watch the, the this recording, and he's going to see all the love. That's That's what I'm thankful for. Love never fails. Love never fails. And that's what you do every day. And I just uh, want to say to Tamika and Helena and, and Cynthia and Brother Robert, Brother David, Brother Marshall, Sandra, Brother Paul, Sarah, and all those that I can't see your faces, uh, Sherry, uh, Angela, we are family. And how beautiful whenever we bring all of our gifts and talents together to, to praise God and, and sing his glory and his goodness. And it's going to be awesome. And it, Moses wanted to see God. He could only have his shadow because we can't handle his holiness. God is so holy, 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 holy is our Lord God Almighty. And it's going to be beautiful. We're all here for a moment, and it's all about what Jesus did for us to open up the door to heaven and eternal life, but we're holding on to him, and but we're not just holding on to him. We're not burying our gifts and talents. We're using them for kingdom building. For So I've just asked, asked you chaplains to continue doing what you do, and please... Just, just, we know that this year, I, we've lost a lot of loved ones for it. For it, just keep them in your hearts, keep them in your prayers. God knows, God knows all, 
you don't need you just praying for the people for those that have lost loved ones that those that are dealing with with illness and in, in, in sickness and in relationships god knows the hairs on our heads a sparrow don't fall without him no it's awesome our god and he's so i love that one scripture where he's he says let us sit down and reason the one that, that set the foundations of the heavens and earth so I'm gonna turn it over to you, Elder. But as we're going through the these the the this uh, the season and, and and holidays, let us always be mindful of all that a lot of people are hurting. But we know that God is big enough, and we just want them to 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 realize that God loves them, loves them so much. We don't know until we get with Him, and. Thank you, chaplains, for doing what you do. You are beautiful. Our Thank union you, is in good hands. I'm turning yes. back over to you, Elder. Thank Love you, you chaplains, Father. and thank you, yes. each one of you. Thank and you. Thank you, Brother Jerry. Love uh, you, Jerry. Quick, God uh, bless that's, you. That's, Love you, that's, Jerry. There's two things yeah. I want to do. Uh, Sister Harris, there was a request that you sent. Um, could you say a prayer for that situation, please? Say that again, Elder. There was a request that you sent in regards to uh, one of the uh, staff members. Could you just say a prayer for that situation, please? Yes, sir. Father God, we love you. God, we praise you. Oh, God, we magnify your name. Father God, we lift up the Bantam family, God, and we lift up the Pierce family also on today, God. Father God, we ask that you be with them, God, in the loss of their son and nephew, God. And then, God, we lift up Sister Cassania, God, as her husband lay in the hospital. And God, his name is Joshua, God. You said to find your Joshua's and Elder Taylor and Brother Jerry said to find my Joshua. Well, Father God, Joshua needs you on today, God. God, you can regulate his heart, God. God, you can take away all the swelling, God. Father God, I ask that you continue to lift up both of those family gods as they bury one God. And Father God, that you raise the other one, God, to come home to his family. God, we love you. God, we praise you. God, we can do nothing without you. God, we thank you for the day after. We thank you for healing, God. God, we thank you for the things we know you're going to do, God. God, we ask that you continue to bless the leaders of this organization. Father God, we ask for prayer for our active and our retirees, God, that have built this foundation. Father, continue to keep us, God. God, continue to strengthen us. God, we praise you. We magnify your name. God, it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 As God we bless move, you, amen. As we amen. move and come to the close to this day after service, I want to just send a shout out and do a teaching moment for those who don't know. Uh, our brother Paul Nichols, he was the uh, second chaplaincy chairperson to the chaplaincy program. Paul is full of wisdom. He mentioned in his thanks that he wanted to thank his wife. And I think all us brothers should thank our spouse for the work that they allow us to do. So Paul, could you do us the honor and say our closing prayer for today, followed by a song from our very own Sandra Watkins. So let us close in that order and let us remember that the blessings of the Lord, it make it rich and added no sorrow. Put a laughter in your heart, brother Paul. Come Just on wanted to let Paul. you know that this lady, I met her in '61 at a revival meeting, and four years later, I married her. <laughs> She's been a blessing and an uplift and an encouragement to me. You know, none of us have it all together. We need each other. When, when I'm down, she's up. When she's down, I'm up. 
and we are able to encourage and uplift one another. What a treasure we have in this earthen vessel that the excellency may be of God and not of ourselves. We are nothing without Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you. And we're so humbled to speak of you and to talk to you. Lord, there's, it seems that we pray the majority of the time throughout the day. Because of your love and your mercy and your grace that has been given to us. You, you came down to earth as a fetus and a young lady. You, you condescended. I can't even comprehend the magnitude of the love that you represented to come and deliver us from captivity and make us new creatures, adopted us. My Lord, how can we but be thankful? Father, we just ask that you bless each one of our chaplains. Let us lift our heads, be with those that are in bereavement. We know there's many that we have lost, as Brother Jerry has said. We know there's wives without husbands, husbands without wives, children that have been lost. God, we just ask, Lord, that, Father, you'd comfort because you said you're the God of all comfort. We believe that. And so, Lord, we just trust, Lord, that, Father, that as we press on through the holidays, that, Lord, that we would be thankful every day and give you glory, give you praise and honor. And as our sister preached to us, that we may be able to say, here am I, send me. We might be ready for the call and not be careless, but be willing and ready. Lord, you're looking for availability. And Lord, if there's anything that lacks on our part, we know you'll give that to us. So we trust you. We love you. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for our military. Please be with them through these holidays when they're away from family and the family's away from them. Take care, we ask. Take care of our veterans, Lord, that Father, that have been out. And Lord, are many, some of them are homeless. God, please reach your hand of mercy through your people. Let us not pass someone by. Lord, as I think of Brother Phil Jackson that preached that message to us and said, let us not throw anyone away. Everyone needs a Savior. We needed you, Lord. We thank you for your love. Lord, for your consecration, for your sacrifice that made it possible. We can be on this line and see your your loved ones all across the nation that come together on a chaplaincy call under the name of the UAW. People can't even comprehend it when we tell them. But Lord, let us be faithful. And we ask this in your precious holy name, Jesus' name. Amen. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, Sister Sandy. One second. Uh, uh, Pastor Walker, introduce that young man next to you. <laughs> Amen. This is a man that y'all prayed for. He almost lost his life, I don't know how many times, to cancer and then to COVID. This is my husband. Come up a little closer. His name is Carlos. Good morning, everyone. Brother Carlos, we love you, brother. Good morning, Just brother to Carlos. recognize you. And um, you're a blessing to the chaplain. And we thank you for sharing your lovely wife. God bless you, my brother. Hallelujah. Oh, God bless you, brother. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Sister Sandra. Amen. And as I listen to everything that everyone said today, this is the song that came to me and I committed to us as chaplains. Amen. You gave me my hands to reach out to men, to show him your love and your perfect plan. You gave me my ears. I can hear your voice so clear. I can hear the cries of sinners, but can I wipe away your tears? You gave me my voice to sing your word, 
to sing all your praises to those who've never heard. But with my eyes, I see your need for more availability. I see that hearts that have been broken, so many people will be free. Lord, I'm available to you. My will we give to you. We'll do what you say do. Use us, Lord. Yes. To show someone the way. And enable us to say. Our storage is empty, and we are available to you. Um, Now we're giving back to you all the tools you gave to us. Our hands, our ears, our voice, our eyes, so you can use them as you please. Yes. We have emptied out of world yes. so that you can fill it up. Yes. See, now we're free. We just want to be more available to you. you. Lord, we're available to you. Our will we give to you to do what you say, do use us, Lord, to show someone the way and enable us to stay. Our storage is empty, but we are available to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beautiful. You. Hallelujah. Thank you. 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 Thank